a critical review of Magic Arena Brawl. With Brawl coming to Magic Arena, just how effective is its implementation going to be? How much of a benefit, if any, will this add to Arena? And where overall does Brawl on Arena succeed? And where might there be room for improvement? Oh, hello. This video is my review and critique of the implementation of Brawl on Magic Arena, covering the interface and UI's handling of the format on Magic Arena, the playability and viability of the format on Magic Arena, and the overall potential success of this format on Magic Arena. But what this video is not, and I cannot stress this enough, is a critique of the Brawl format itself, especially not the the Brawl format in paper. I want to share my evaluation and analysis of how well Brawl worked on Magic Arena, what it did right, what it can do better, and whether I think it is a successful addition overall. But I am not offering my evaluation on Brawl as a format. If you like and enjoy Brawl, be it in paper or digital, or if Brawl is not your jam, that is a personal determination. Remember, the rule for Magic the Gathering, and well, all gaming, is if you're having fun, then you're probably doing it correctly. Some people enjoy certain formats more than others. That being said, just how good was Brawl on Arena, and how successful is it going to be once fully implemented? Let's take a look. From September 4th to September 9th, arena players were treated to a free Brawl event where all four of the upcoming Brawl pre-constructed decks, including both Throne of Eldraine cards and unique made just for Brawl cards, were made live on arena for people to pick and play with. While the event itself was just a small taste of Brawl's overall potential in that players were not able to build their own Brawl decks for the event, it did showcase and successfully preview the new format for the client. And I'd like to begin my evaluation with just that, the client itself, or specifically, how well the user interface handled new elements such as a commander and command zone. Many Magic the Gathering players have actually voiced concern over Arena's ability to properly showcase and utilize some of the more complex aspects of Magic the Gathering. Whenever there is talk, for example, of modern being added somehow to Arena, or just the modern cards coming to us via Historic, or conversation about putting a power cube on Arena, let's say, Commander, there is a significant number of voices that express concern that Arena's UI might just not be up to the task for such complex interactions, or perhaps that such complexity would not be easily visually represented presented to arena players. And this is something I thought of with Brawl, as it was not only utilizing elements such as a commander and command zone, but also, with Made for Brawl cards, we would start seeing, both now and in future editions, Commander Matters style interactions that might prove difficult for what has so far been a standard and bot draft only client. Luckily, nothing could be further from the truth. In my evaluation, the Arena client handled nearly all aspects of Brawl gameplay and card interactions with a plum, and once again demonstrated for myself and hopefully the majority of the player base that despite any frustrations or misgivings we may have with the human choices made behind Arena, the software itself is solid. The software itself is well-developed and overall excellent for fun and engaging Magic the Gathering gameplay. The Command Zone is integrated seamlessly into Arena, with commanders simply occupying a second-hand slot space and even having having their commander tax casting cost changes reflected on the card itself. Commanders like Chulain and Alila posed zero problems to client interface, despite both having the potential to lead to numerous triggers and interactions per turn, and especially, I feel in Alila's case, some really intense creature and trigger-heavy board states. Just like with usual arena gameplay, everything was smooth and easy to navigate, and games were both engaged 
engaging and most enjoyable of all, different than standard. Which brings me to something even more vital, the diversity of Brawl. Longtime viewers of this channel know just how important I feel diversity of formats is to the overall health of Magic the Gathering. Standard may be the gateway constructed format, but players can and will get bored with it. Or as is often the case, the format itself can have a bad season, leading to significantly lowered interest in playing it. During either of those occurrences, it is better for the health of the game to have some other way, preferably a significantly different way to still play Magic the Gathering while not playing Standard. This is where Modern and Popper and Commander and yeah, Legacy and Canadian Highlander and even Oathbreaker all start to come in. They keep people in the game. They keep players playing the game. And then hopefully when the new set comes out or when Standard rotates, those players might go draft or pre-release or play at Friday Night Magic again. But what of Arena, the standard and bot draft only client, as more and more players sink their hard earned dollars into irredeemable one way gem purchases to only have standard to play could lead to major disenfranchisement and dispersal. The second standard rotates and half your collection needs to be replaced. Or if standard gets into a slog or you just grow tired of it, players need alternative formats on Arena. And it's attempts at theme events like Cascade and the Omniscience Drafts, while fun, are fleeting and also only offered temporarily and intermittently. Does Brawl offer a sufficiently different and enjoyable arena experience? While a highly subjective answer, in my evaluation, the option to play Brawl on Arena not only offers that much needed alternative, but offers it with excellence. Again, this is not a critique or review of Paper Brawl as a format, which first of all is multiplayer, not 1v1, and there's some other differences. And this is not a review yet of the Brawl precons as a product, but as an option, as a format on Arena, I can say wholeheartedly that adding Brawl is not only great, but greatly needed based upon the criteria that I just covered. It gives you a significantly different way to play with your cards on Arena. It lets players walk away from standard, walk away from the bot draft, and yet still stay on arena and play, which is what we want, the players and the company. It potentially brings in commander and oathbreaker players who don't care for or enjoy standard constructed, who despite the limited and rotating card pool of brawl, might still find enjoyment out of building and playing with brawl decks on arena. So while it was beyond Beyond astonishing that Brawl was not on Arena from the start, now that we have seen the shape and reality of it on Arena, I can say that adding it will be a long-term and critical success. However, there are some missteps with Brawl on Arena that, even though I consider it to be an excellent addition and excellent implementation are still missteps nonetheless. The biggest overall misstep with the implementation of Brawl is in the Brawl pre-constructed decks themselves. Now again, while my official Is It Worth It video will cover the critical issues of financial value, such as their extraordinarily high cost to purchase, for this video review, I'm not talking about that, I'm just talking about Arena's implementation of Brawl. I cannot stress enough what an error it is to not have a redemption code in each paper deck. Let's talk about why this lack of redemption code is such a mistake for the health of the Brawl format, the health of Brawl and Magic Arena, and even the profits of Wizards of the Coast as a corporation. And no, my feeling that a redemption code to receive a digital copy of the Brawl deck on Arena if you purchase it in paper is not just me whining, hey, can I have free stuff? No, far from it. Arena as a format has had a tumultuous run. While many Magic the Gathering players have and do enjoy the format, it was met with a lot of skepticism and, to put it mildly, reluctance from a significant amount of the player base. 
Brawl events on Magic Online and at Magic Fests had notoriously low numbers, and Wizards of the Coast's push for the format was often seen as them trying to sell us standard commander, sell something to a player base that was already very happy with non-rotating full commander. Thank you very much. So its announced addition to Arena was also met with a non-zero amount of skepticism. But as I have stated, Brawl on Arena is great, regardless of your feelings for it in paper. It is going to be a great and strong, vital part of the client. That, however, may not translate to paper, as Brawl can run the risk of being an online-only format in terms of any significant play. In other words, while it's fun to play Brawl on Arena, why play it in paper when you can play Commander, which itself may never be feasible in coming to Arena? Indeed, a very large idea in the community is that the paper Brawl decks are likely only going to be pursued for their Commander playable cards by Commander players. Let's start there. By putting a redemption code in the Brawl precons, those Commander players picking up Brawl decks for Commander cards are all given a free invitation to sit down and play with a fully constructed Commander Light style deck on Arena at no additional charge. You are building a bridge to an audience that might not otherwise be interested in trying Brawl on Arena or even Arena at all, but who would then, after trying Brawl on Arena, possibly find it very much to their liking and continue to play, essentially bringing in new Arena players who would be otherwise unreachable. Not to mention that despite its spotty paper player base numbers, there's still people who do play Brawl or who are going to be willing to pick up a Brawl deck and give the format a try. And again, those players are not necessarily on Arena. The code in the paper package brings those paper players into the digital client and into this new format, a format where we all want to have a large, healthy player base. But that bridge also goes both ways. Many arena players might choose to go into their local game store and pick up a paper brawl deck, even if they don't play paper, just to get the redemption code. Maybe make the redemption code offer something special for the digital cards, such as an alternate art commander that can only be gotten by that digital redemption. Digital players seek out the paper product and they discover their local game stores. If nothing else, this is good business for the store and the company, but maybe, just maybe, they sit down and play some brawl in paper while in that store, pick up some packs, play in a draft, and cross that bridge from digital to paper, as well as those players who would cross that bridge from paper to digital. Having a strong, well-traversed bridge between digital and paper with your customer and player base enjoying and engaging in both ways to play the game is better for everyone. It builds a healthy ecosystem. And with this inauguration of Brawl on Arena, it's a huge mistake not to have these redemption codes in the paper product. You're not saving money by omitting them. You're losing it, big time. My other negative critique of Brawl's implementation on Arena is more up for debate, and one where I'd like to turn the question ultimately over to you. And that is that Brawl remains both standard only and a format that rotates on Arena. In paper, the excuse for this was that they did not want to intrude upon Commander's occupied space. And while I disagree with that choice in terms of paper brawl, on Arena, there is no Commander occupied space. In fact, it is very fair to say that Commander, the number one most popular Magic the Gathering format, may never conceivably come to Arena, simply because it is just about every card from throughout Magic's entire history, and no, that is not going 
going to all get programmed into Arena today, tomorrow, or even five to ten years from now. But had they chosen to make Brawl historic, I feel very strongly that this would be laying the groundwork for Pseudo Commander on Arena. And again, I'm not talking about paper here. I'm talking only digital. But had Arena Brawl used the historic pool, as more and more cards from throughout Magic's history got added to that pool, and as each upcoming set just built more and more into Brawl instead of rotating, the card pool would grow, historic cards would be added, and it would perhaps embody so much more of what makes Commander the best format. Also, I feel it would benefit Brawl greatly to just not rotate, so that you can keep your favorite deck and play for years from now. Think of all the Dominaria legendaries we won't ever get to play with on Arena. But that's ultimately my question to you. Should Digital Arena Brawl have pursued the historic format, giving players more use for their rotated out cards in the process? What do you think of Brawl's implementation on Arena? Let me know in the comments below. And I hope very much this video has been of some interest to you. You can help me out by watching my Popper Tron deck tech or my modern Selesnia Eldrazi deck tech, which I did this week. These were very special decks that I think got ignored, but I hired professional consultants and editors to make them something special. So you can help me out greatly just by giving them a watch. And this video, like all of my videos, has been brought to you in part thanks to a sponsorship from Card Kingdom, as well as the Patreon support of viewers like you. So thank you.